Good morning. Uh, welcome to the North Devon Detectorist. Um, back out on my permission today. Um, weather is quite calm actually. No wind. Uh, weather's going to stay dry, which is good. Um, see what I can pull up today. Right, I'll see you on the first hole. First target of the day, reading 21 on the simplex. And it's, I think, a small, small button. Yeah, it's got to be a button. Yeah, where's a shank? Come off the back. Yep, yeah, that's all it is. I'm using the SP24 cord again today. Uh, just see what it picks up. And it picked that up quite nice. Right onto the next hole. Just dug this little lighten up. Up it was really about 28 uh, on the simplex. Um, didn't know what it is. Probably a, a thing for a lock. That's probably where the key goes in. I don't know. I'll give that a proper clean when I get home. Right on to the next hole. Yeah, it certainly is a beautiful morning. Um, no wind. Just show you the, this is all the land I can do. All you can hear in the background is a woodpecker pecking away and the pheasant. Right on to the next hole. This was reading in the 60s and it's got some shape to it. Um, look on the back, you can see where it was attached, um, probably to an horse harness. I don't know, that's what I think it could have been. Something different, it's got a bit of age to it. Yeah, quite happy with that. Right, I'll see you on the next hole. Took me ages to find this. Um, is it a button or a coin? I would say that's a coin. Right, let me just give it a clean, see if anything comes up on it. No, it's pretty uh, worn out, definitely a coin. Uh, look how thin it is. Yeah, some sort of copper coin. Been in the ground a long time. Right on to the next hole. Quite an iffy target, but I've dug it anyway. And all it is, is that object there. Whatever that came off. Right on to the next hole. This was reading in the uh, 20s. And it's got to be a button yeah with the shank look at that still intact still intact didn't find many of them well, that's not a bad button actually I like that little one for the collection with this silver gilt on it yeah happy with that right onto the next hole just dug this up, quite an iffy target. Um, where is it? There it is. There it is, whatever it is. It's gonna be a button. Shape of it. Yeah, it's a bit battered. But it's definitely a button. Yep, I would say that's what it was. Um, on the 
that's that piece of pottery there. Piece of pottery, turn that same hole. Right, on to the next hole. This was a solid 65, I've not got it out of the hole yet, but I can see it, and it's just, just there. I think it's gonna be a button. Yeah, that's a button. Yeah, let's see where the shank's come off. So we'll, oh, look at that. I've had a few of these out of here. Silver buttons, or silver plated buttons with this pattern on. And it corresponds to the landowner's uh, um, going back three, three four generations. Um, yeah, that's nice. Face facing left, the man facing left, he's got his jester hat on. Right, on to the next hole. This was reading in at a solid 20. I don't know what it is, probably a piece of lead. Yeah, piece of lead. Yep, yeah, that's all it is. Right, on to the next hole. Horses in the fields. <clears throat> I was just saying to myself, I've not found a musket ball all day. And then suddenly, I get a little musket shot. Yeah, that's what it is, a musket shot. Right, on to the next hole. This was reading at a solid 70. Um, well that's something fancy. Pity that it's broke off at the end, whatever it was, key or whatever. But I'll check the hole anyway. That is quite nice. That's got some age to it. Very nice. Yeah, happy with that. Right, I'll just check the hole, see if there's anything else. If not, I'll see you at the next hole. Just got this up, reading about 75, and it's a piece of lead. Yeah, that's all it is. Like a piece of lead on top of a piece of lead, doesn't it? There. Right, on to the next hole. This was reading in the uh, 60s, and uh, it's this item here, which I believe to be part of a, a pot. Look at the shape. Yeah, look at the top. That would be the top. Right, on to the next hole. This was a iffy target, and you can just see it there. I think, yeah, I think that's it. Right, stick it up. Gonna be a button. I think. Yeah, it's gonna be a button. Yeah, that's what it is. I think a button. Yep. Lovely. On to the next hole. Right, this came in at uh, 28, and it's a 
poor old button. Smack on 28. There it is. Focus, that's it. Right, on to the next hole. This was a iffy target, but uh, that's all it was. That's all it was. Right, on to the next hole. Just dug this out, quite an iffy target. 100% um, button. Yeah, feel the shank on the front, on the back. Yeah, that's what it is. Right, on to the next hole. Just got this out. It was reading uh, 23 and it's a piece of bronze uh, pottery. Yeah, there's the rim. Yep, okay, on to the next hole. Well, I'm back home. Um, wife's just made me a nice coffee. Right, let's just go through the finds. Um, don't know what that is, probably uh, off the top of a shed or something. Uh, steel, lead, bit of lead there, steel again. Uh, copper, aluminium I should say. Uh, bit of rust, bit of lead. Right, just good for the more better items. One musket shot, uh, six buttons, four old one, that one there, that one's a bit broken up, say it was a button at one stage. Um, that one, still got the shank on my back, um, that one's sort of complete. Um, this one here, um, give one of these to the farmer a bit back. It's his, uh, it's his uh, symbol for his family, which go back about two or three generations. And if you notice, uh, the guy is facing left and he's got a sort of a jester's hat on, silver plated. Um, this item here, probably uh, off a lock where you put the key in. I would say. A uh, bit of bronze pottery. A uh, field I've been on, normally I find pot legs there as well. Uh, one coin, completely battered. See how thin it is. Nothing on it at all. Um, this item here, which has got shape. Um, I'm going to give it a clean, see if there's any writing on it or anything at the front. But at the back you can see where it would have been attached to either to horse on this lever or whatever. A um, bit more uh, pot. Let's see the shape of it, how round it would have been. Uh, find of the day is this item. Um, I think it was a solid 72, I'm not too sure, but uh, it's got age to it, um, whatever it's a key or a, uh, what's the other thing you call them, barrel uh, key, I don't know, but that was uh, a good four or five inches down. So that's me finds for today and I'll see you on the next hunt.